Theater Society, and I'm involved in drama, music, and student government. What's the next attraction at Baltimore Lutheran in the drama club? And he gets your gun in early November. All right, so it's on or has been on, and no doubt has been terrific. Right. All right, here's number one for you. This might be a baseball headline in Boston or Chicago, but the letters can also be arranged to name what book of the Bible? Exodus. Exodus, that's right. What one letter inserted here will change the word root to another word that describes a mechanical man? A robot. A robot or a bee, that's right. Now, you should get quite a bang out of this composite literary title once it's filled in with what one word that will make it a Walt Whitman, Walter Edmonds collaboration? The answer is drums, so no point. Two part to answer each word 20. What victorious heroes from these two battles went on to become the future presidents of the United States? They're respectively nicknamed Old Hickory, Old Rough and Ready. Jackson and Roosevelt. Jackson and Zachary Taylor, so 20 out of a possible 40. In 1963, a formal language frontier was established between these French and Flemish speaking peoples of what European country, whose capital is Brussels? That's right. Now, here's the quotation. I would like to see an accurate story of my life. This was part of the last public statement made by what eccentric, reclusive American multimillionaire who headed an aircraft company and left a disputed will when he died in 1977. That's right. So, Baltimore Lutheran 100 after his time. over to uh, Hartford County, Maryland, to Edgewood, Willoughby Beach Road there in Hartford County. Jim Hennigan. Jim. Hi, I'm, I'm Jim Hennigan. I'm a 16-year-old junior. I'm interested in academic club, French, and uh, board game club. And I'm also interested in uh, fantasy literature. And I'd like to thank our alternates, Barbara Getz and Jeffrey Gay. What was the middle of club you're in? It's ac academic club. What was the second one? French. Oh, French. Okay, good. Now, here's Ted Shear. Ted? Hi, I'm a 15-year-old sophomore. I'm active in the SGA. I'm parliamentarian for the Harvard County Regional Association of Student Councils. I'm a member of the Planetary Society. I'm a delegate to the Governor's Youth Advisory Council. I'd like to um, thank our coaches, um, Mr. Doug Johnson and Mrs. Glass Brass. Have you got your telescopes fixed on Halley's Comet yet? it will be back before long. Have you seen that speck in the sky yet? Not yet. All right. Well, I think it's a few years enough. down the line. Yeah, yeah. First time in 72 years. Here's Bobby James. Bobby? Hello, I'm Bobby James. I'm a 15-year-old sophomore from Edgewood. I'm interested in computer science, reading, and teaching, and also history. I would also like to thank our very helpful and patient bus driver, Ms. Schaefer. Boy, this <laughs> it really knows how to do it, huh? Okay, Bobby, here's number one on your screen. Arid means dry, glop suggests moisture, but these letters would make some sense if you rearrange them to identify what biblical son who was welcomed back to his father's house when he returned after wasteful adventures, as they say. Who was that? Well, it was the prodigal son. Now, here's the next one. What one letter would you insert here to change this from a high wind into the high part of a house? Nathaniel Hawthorne's had seven. Gables. That's right, Gable or B. Yes, now, you'll name not one, but two patriotic tunes after you insert in the blank here, what one word? Columbia. Columbia, yes. Now, two-parter each word, 20. On a walking tour of what two state capitals could you see these landmarks that mark, respectively, the church associated with Paul Revere and with Patrick Henry? Boston. And the other one? Uh, Richmond. That's right, 40 points. A river and a battleship bearing these nicknames have what same real name as the home state of our late president, Harry Truman. Missouri? That's right. I no longer have it. Well, speak for yourself. With this simple retirement statement, they're parted from the New York Yankees what baseball player who is mentioned in the novel The Old Man and the Sea is nicknamed Jolton Joe. Joe DiMaggio. That's right, the Yankee Clippers. So, very nice going, Edward. 120 in the end of round one. Each year on its academic giant food awards more than a hundred scholarships to help deserving students continue their education. At the end of our program today, three guests from Giant will do the honors, and I have the honor of presenting them now. Here they are, Cass Lombardo, and a great name, these are all great names. Linda Sawyers, Jackie Aloisi will present awards to our three schools. We're grateful to them for taking time. The grants total $500, with the winning team school receiving $200, and each of the other schools $150. When our winning teams meet in playoff rounds, the Giant scholarships total $1,000, with the winning team school receiving $400, and each of the other schools receiving $300. Mention again that Giant never selects the individual scholarship recipients. The schools.
take care of that. Now, before we get into our next round, here's the update on the score from the last round. And over 80, Baltimore Lutheran 100, Edge with the lead, 120. <laughs> with the uh, young people now in the visual round. See how you do. I can easily win because I have the answer. But see how you do in this round. Ten points up for each correct answer for a team. Ten points off for a long, uh, wrong answer. Well, a wrong, long answer will get you ten points off. And uh, if you uh, see, if I see the light on a team's name, that team will have a chance to uh, answer the question. Here we go. Number one. Artist Paul Sample might have hoped for a tasty sample when he painted these Vermont farmers Tapping what sort of tree, Edward? Maple. That's right, maple. You see here one of dozens of peaceable kingdom paintings by the folk artist Edward Hicks. These pictures illustrate the proverbial phrase about the lion lying down with what meeker animal? Lutheran. Lamb. That's right, the lamb. Next, a picture of what American general, best known for his capture of Stony Point in a night attack. His impetuousness earned him the nickname Mad. Who was that? Anybody know? Anthony Wayne is the man there. If the sine of a 35 degree angle has the value given on the monitor, what is the value of the cosine of 55 degrees? Who has it? Anybody? Well, it's the same, 0.5736. This bird is the rare Cape Barren Goose, a fowl whose diet consists only of what green lawn herbage found in the poem, title of a poem by Walt Whitman? Who has that end of her? Grass. That's right. We might call this the star and stripes, as it's the flag of what African country? Uh, Edward? Liberia. Liberia is right. Wait now, on the monitor, what nickname given to 1928 presidential candidate Al Smith? Anybody remember that? <laughs> you don't remember it, but have you read about it? The happy warrior he was known as. This 15th century painting shows the English royal court listening to a public reading by what poet? whose verse stories include the partner's tale, the nun's priest's tale, and the miller's tale, Lutheran. Chaucer. Say again. Chaucer. Chaucer is right. Return with us now to the thrilling days of the wagon trains. I was you. This particular wagon train is not in the American West, but rather traversing what large island country that's located near Africa in the Indian Ocean. Who is that? All right, the last one first, Lutheran. Madagascar. Madagascar, or Malagasy Republic. The view on the monitor is from what national park located in Montana, whose name is derived from the large bodies of ice that move far at the... I don't see any... Glacier. Glacier is right. That's the end of the visual run. Right. Well, they got us going, so we keep right on going with another visual round called the category round. Again, direct competition. Ten up for a right answer, but now 20 points are deducted for a wrong answer, so you have to be doubly careful. This category round is all wet. We will offer clues to bodies of water that all have one-syllable names. Please name the following. Here's number one. This is the river flowing through London, Andover. Thames. The Thames is right. Number two is the sea separating Arabia from Africa. Andover. Red. Red Sea is right. Number three, the river flowing through Boston. How about Lutheran? Jeans. The, the Charles River, so 20 down. Number four, the sea between Britain and Scandinavia. Who has that one, Edward? White. The North Sea, 20 down. Number five, the river forming the border for Idaho and Oregon, Edward. Snake. Snake is right. Number six, the Scottish Loch, Edward. Ness is right. Number seven, the sea that indents Antarctica. Anybody know that one? Or Edward. Ross. Ross is right. Number eight, river flowing through Paris, Edward. Sand. Sand is right. Number nine, the sea below sea level, Edward. Dead. Dead Sea. Principal river of West Germany, Andover. Rhine. Rhine. Number 11, the sea bordered by USSR and Turkey. Who has that one? Anybody? Edward. Black. Black Sea. Number 12, the world's longest river ever. Nile is right. The end of the category round. <laughs>
made ice cream.